Hi and welcome to another 5 minute session and this time about the U saturation value. U saturation value is good for creating colors. So you use an other method compared to using RGB. And I can go through it right now. So pressing Shift A go to color and there you will have U saturation value. So U saturation value, what is it? Well, you have a color here. And that color will be changed using a wheel or rotation, you could say. So you have different color changes or offsets from this color on different type of degrees. And I can show you a picture to you so you understand how it works. So see the color as a cylinder or a circle where you have your starting color at zero, the degree zero. Then you have some offset and when you go up for the offset you can see that that uh, the color will change so from green to yellow to red to purple blue and then back again so just using degrees to change the color and as you can see this is exactly as the nature so if you think rainbow or if you think leaves or that you think um, apple as i'm doing right now this is changing from like green to more mature, mature uh, yellow and then red. So this is a really good way if you do some uh, random color when you work with organic things. Then we have the saturation. So no saturation, then you have a grayscale image and then you get more saturation out here. And you have the value. So uh, value of that is zero is almost black or black. And then you get more and more brightness if you have a higher value. So that is the U saturation value, how it works. So let's go back to Blender and see some practice use of this. So I have this apple here and the apple is green. So I drag this to the green. And since the U now is 0 0.5, that means that I will not change the color. So that color is the same. But if I change something here, you can see that I get some offset now. And if I drag this to 1, I get this pink. And if I drag it to 0, I get the same pink. So then we have the complete circle. And then between we have all the changes here. To then change it so we get small variation. We see more yellow here, it's more green here, and then it's more yellow here. Then we just use the noise. So we can put in Shift A texture and a noise texture. So we have that, and then you can just take the factor to the U, but right now, if you do that, you can see it's way too much. We need smaller values to work with. Uh, we can also change the scale a bit, so it's more like this. I think that will be better in the end, but we add a math to, to decrease the variation a bit. So Shift A, then we go to Converter, Math, and we change this to a Multiply Add, because we would like the end or the starting point to be 0 0.5 and then we change the multiply just a bit. And if we put it to 0 0.1, we go on the blue direction. And if you remember the image, that was the wrong way. So we can then use a negative 0 0.1. And now you can see they are almost identical just by that smooth transition between green and yellow. And then they have all these small dots. And since I only have five minutes, I don't have the time to do all the dots for you. But if you go to lesson 17, there you have Voronoi, where I explain how Voronoi works. And that is what we can use here. So if I just put this result into the surface, you can see that I get all these dots here that I can then use for this apple here. So. That is really easy to do if you know how to use Voronoi. Now we need to connect that uh, in a good way and make it even more realistic, this apple. So then we can just add another U saturation value and put that in here. And here we can use the color that we have here and then use 0.5 here as well. Uh, and all we have to do now really is that we can change the factor because the factor can then uh, tell how much we should use of this. And if we put in uh, the 
result into a factor here, then we can play with the stuff up here to then change stuff. You can see, and then we only change uh, the points here. So let's say we use this to 0 0.5, but we perhaps uh, increase the value a bit because, as you remember, the value was the brightness. Then you can see we get exactly the same thing here. So now we have this structure of the upper using only U saturation value. So we use the value to brighten up the dots here, and we used U to get the change between green and yellow for the apple here. So that is a really, really good, powerful node to get small variations into the color when you do these organic shapes. Okay, on almost six minutes, so I just say bye for now, see you tomorrow.